I'm Evelyn. Hi, I'm Lindsay. Hi, I'm Raquel. Hi, my name is Catherine. And we're very excited to bring this art lesson to you today, so let's get started. So we're here today with Art Start, and Art Start is an initiative started by the Claremont Museum of Art to engage kids about art in our community. We are students at Claremont High School, and we're so excited to be here today to create art with all of you. So this is our plan today. So today's lesson is inspired by a specific artist, so the first thing we want to do is tell you all about that artist. And the second step we're going to do is we're going to do a demonstration, and we're going to show you the technique of the project that we're making. And step three, the last step, is for you to actually make the project along with us. But before we introduce the artist to you, we want to make sure you have the right materials for this project. So if you want to pause the video and make sure to go grab all of these pieces, you need one piece of paper, then a colored pencil or marker, and of course, your creativity. The artist we're focusing on today is Nick Cave. Nick Cave is an American fabric sculptor, dancer, and performance artist. He was born in Fulton, Missouri in 1959. He creates sound suits, which were surreally majestic objects blending in with fashion and sculpture. Cave sound suits are fully covering the body and it serves as an alien second skin that obscures race, gender, and class, allowing viewers to look without bias towards the wearer's identity. Today's art project is inspired by pieces from the Cosmic Rhythm Vibrations exhibition from the National Museum of Art, which is located at Duke University, North Carolina. The exhibition highlights works that engage in visual and musical rhythm. Rhythm may be expressed through repeated patterns of color, form or movement, or in other cases, implied sound and dance. Whether they embody a beat or a swing, these works carry a pulse that helps guide the viewer through time and space. As wide-ranging objects that reference the power of rhythm and music to transcend earthly concerns, collectively they become cosmic in their vast reach and otherworldly magnetism. So now that we know more about Nick Cave, here are some more of his artwork. As you look at these two photos, what shapes do you see in these sound suits? There's circles, there's squares, there's triangles, and what different colors do you see? Do you see oranges, yellows, and also what patterns do you see in these sound suits? Okay everyone, now we're going to start the actual demonstration of the project. So on the left, I just put some examples of lines that you can come back to and reference if you want to use those. But on the right, that is the project that we're making today. So we're making a portrait with lines and detailed patterns around it. So I'll show you how to make that right now. So if you don't know, a portrait is usually a picture or a drawing of a person and it's usually of their face. So the first thing you want to do is create a face. So we're going to first draw two eyes. So it's two ovals right next to each other, just like that. And then you're going to want to draw a nose, which is basically a C, an M, and almost a backward C. And there you go, you have your nose. And now you want to create your mouth, just as I'm doing in the video. Three lines. And if you want, you could put a line through the middle and you can already see the face coming together. So now I'm just adding detail to the eyes. And even if you want, you can add some eyelashes to your eyes. Just adding details to make this face. And it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Remember that this face is whatever you want it to look like. And so now I'm drawing the head. I drew a light outline with my pencil before. And now I'm just tracing that. So you want to make your head an oval shape. And as you can see, I'm just tracing that right here. And now I'm even going in to add some ears on each side. And the next thing I'm doing is I'm making a neck and shoulders for my person. So I'm just drawing lines and connecting them. And you can already see it coming together. And even if you want, you can add a shirt to this person by drawing almost a V that's connecting. Or you can make the shirt however you want, but I'm just making it in a V-shaped shirt. And now I'm just drawing in my eyes and I'm gonna do this to both. I'm drawing them in completely black. I've just finished showing you the first half of the project. Remember that step one was to draw two ovals to create eyes. Your oval should be about half the size of your index finger. Step two was to draw a nose, and to do this, you need to draw a C and a backward C, connected by the shape of a letter M. 
Step three is to draw the mouth the size of your index finger. Make sure to draw these features big. We want the self-portrait to take up almost half of your entire page. Step four was to draw a large oval around your facial features in order to create the head. So pause here on these instructions until you complete steps one through four and move on with me onto the next part once you're done. So here I'm just drawing more patterns and this is towards the end. So just take your time, get creative. And this is my end product. If you finish early, you can even, if you want, color in with markers or colored pencils. And if you need help thinking of designs, you can go back to earlier in the video when I had some examples. So I just showed you step five of this project, the final step, which is to draw lines and patterns on the outside of your portrait. These lines you are drawing should fill up the entire background of your portrait. You can also incorporate lines on the top of your head. These lines will be the hair of your person. Remember, you can draw any designs that you would like, so just get creative. So this is the final step, so once you finish this, you have completed the project. We hope you were able to be as inspired as we were by Nick Cave. Well, that's the end of our presentation. Thank you so much for joining us. We know we had a lot of fun coming up with this project, and we hope you enjoyed it also.